Last time it was like I was in there, I seen what I saw. But, and you remembered liking what you saw. Well, about three months later is when I had the epiphany of like, that would make a great, are you doing it now? Yeah, so 1865 877 Street is where we're at. And um, we're gonna give you guys a tour of the grounds of what we see here. And then um, we'll download it and everybody will get to view it. So uh, actually, this is the outside, nice uh, concrete patio. And that property out there goes with it. Uh, the property to the right, which is that field, just hit the market for 89,000. It's a little over an acre. It's in this square, got sold off a while back. And then this property, this home goes with that lot over there. And then we'll show you the back part. And you continue it's still running? Yep, yep, it'll so just that, roll now. That parcel that split, it goes with this house? Well, you know what? If you made the offer, you'd make it with that parcel with it. So everything's included. He can't just sell the house and, you know, keep on that. It's, it's the whole piece of pie. It should be. Okay. Come on if you're coming. Yeah. I like the different. Uh, textures and layers that each room has with this house. That's an yeah. inlay to the floor. <laughs> like he's covered, covered a drain or something. Yeah, I think so. Nice terrazzo floor. He's a common down in Florida having this uh, concrete ground. And... So you can see that's an air conditioner uh, hooked up to the window. Right. Nice size kitchen. Oh, there's like 3,700 square foot here, just shy of 4,000. The stoves are older, the ovens I should say, but they do work. But you'd probably want to update the whole kitchen, wouldn't you, Scotty? Uh, I, would, I would think so. That would be on the list of things to do. But I mean, would it be a gut job? This year, because it's kind of late, I mean, it'd have to go right into the season. Oh, he's already got bookings that he has to honor. Yeah. You know, that or he has to give the money back. I got you. Because they did say there's already bookings coming, coming in. Which would mean you would get the rental money. You see a flow there or something? Like a oh, it's bump? Just, that's uh, definitely uh, hanging low. There's an issue. This roof would have to be right. It's kind of like like a little like he put some. Did he put some nails into that? Why that's like little drippies? It's uh, well, are them it's nail heads? Insufficient thickness of drywall, uh, or it got wet at one time and it's come mm -hmm. down. But, so tap tap tap. Yeah. The, uh, mm -hmm. Tap, tap, tap. So this is like one bathroom and it's a half a bath down here. And I don't remember there being a, there's not, there's not a bathroom on this end with a shower. Yeah, just on the same thing. Oh, what they use feels solid. Maybe they put, uh, I bet they put quarter inch sheetrock paneling, no wood no. paneling over drywall, which is hanging that. Okay, it's, uh, making sense to me right now. <gasps> That's the secret room. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Whoopsie. I bet they have fun with that door. Okay. We'll fix that one. Uh, That'll be have to be fixed first. Good drywall ceiling. Have some issues. Is there any complaints about that? 
I thought this is uh, all... It's wrenching it, so obviously it's not leaking. Right, I'm sure it's not leaking. This is manifested from before when they redid the roof, but it looks like there's three layers on that roof. And it right, really we had some issues there. Needs to be corrected. Right, which would mean what? Taking the whole ceiling down? Uh, well, uh, at least portions of it. I mean, that's got to be taken down to be fixed. And you got issues here um, and issues over by the chimney. So. Which there's always issues by the chimney. entry we came in there's two wings to this house of course this is the other wing and these back here have a couple bathrooms so obviously this is the first bedroom no bathroom second bedroom And here's your first bathroom here. And this wing. Looks like it's been updated. Wing closets. Another one back to back. Your wash and dryer area. <clears throat> this is the back bedroom on the far south end of the home. There is a bathroom in here, some built ins. And I do like all the bathrooms, it's a nice feature. The built-ins. Kind of reminds me of the Brady Bunch house. Another bedroom in the back here. It also has a master bathroom. built-in closet. Both these rooms have king-size beds in them. Of course, that's the back area, the backyard. side plus your hot water tank. Mm, you might need a little electrician. Remember the panel room being in here? Electrical panel and then there was another one at the other end. Looks like uh, zone heating. Seems like this had uh, thermal flooring at one time. 70s look there. That garage there, they've turned into a party room, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go check that out. Yeah, 
seems like this is, yeah, this is locked. This is a maintenance room for the owner, which is a garage size. Maybe 20 by 20 or something like that. Catch-all room. I'd be making that into a bathroom. Yeah, so we're on the north end of the home, which does have a half bath and two bedrooms. And the other one, you got four beds, so six bedrooms, three and a half baths. Just one half bathroom here. Some sort of little counter space area with a cooler and microwave. This is that back bedroom. Some sliding doors going out. And that pole barn does not go with this property. So that belongs to the neighbors. There's a well head. There's like, I just shy of 4,000 square foot living space here. 3,700. Outside and Your courtyard patio with concrete. I think it was the approach to the garage at one time.
fairly new. There's some window units there for the or for the air conditioning. on 77th Street, which is a desirable neighborhood back on Doctors Row, close to Pilgrim Haven, close to the State Park. south end of the house. And that's a wrap.